Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we got a $600 full gaming PC setup. And of course, in Toasty Bros tradition, it features a PC we made a dedicated build guide on. If you want to see that video, hit the guy in the top right corner. But this is an awesome $450 PC featuring a 1063 gig and i3-10100. And of course, we had to make a setup around it because it actually did really well. But before we dive into the setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. With Windows 10, it is so easy just to go onto the website using the link in the description down below, and then go to the Windows 10, click buy it now, add code TB20, then go to the checkout, put in your payment info, and then boom, you will get within a few seconds or a few minutes an activation code that you will go into Windows 10, put in the activation code, and it is fully legit. It will work out of the box, and you will have a fully activated Windows 10 license. We use GVG Mall for all the PCs we build here at the Toasty Bros, and so should you. So definitely check the link in the description down below and use code TB20 to save money on checkouts. So as some of you may or may not know, we do a lot of these full gaming setups along with streaming setups. So the difference is, our gaming setup here, we have a monitor, we have a keyboard, we have a mouse, we have a mouse pad, we of course have a gaming headset that has a mic on it, and then we have the computer itself. If you wanted to be a streaming setup, you really just need to add a webcam and then maybe a nice microphone, then you got yourself a streaming setup, but this one's nice and budget, so for $600, you could get into some entry level streaming, but not anything crazy. And of course, the best part about this is you don't have to build this PC, you can just grab all of this stuff off of Amazon using the affiliate links down below and put it with your gaming PC. So let's just go ahead and talk about this gaming PC real quick, touch on some of the important specs, and then dive into the rest of the setup. So this build right here is pretty similar to really a staple of our PC selling business website because we love the i3-10100F that's in this four core eight thread. We actually decided to add a nice little Vitru uh, 120 millimeter tower cooler. It does come in white or black. We usually use our own thermal paste. It comes with Vitru, but we always add some Arctic or some Noctua paste. Um, we actually decided to get a 1060 off of eBay used. This is a 1063 gig, and it is an amazing card because you can get these for a hundred or less if you do some deal hunting and you get five display outs on most of them. And on top of that, you can play AAA and esports titles at pretty decent settings. The motherboard's a B560 VDH, which is an MSI board. The 560 is nice because you could technically go 11 inch in if you wanted to. And then for storage, we have a Gen 3 Team Group NVMe 512 SSD. We did go a little bit basic with the RAM here. We actually got this Oli RAM and it is just 3000 megahertz, you know, 16 gigs, nothing too crazy. We have this very nice Thermaltake Smart BX1 550 watt and that's an 80 plus bronze. It's really not a bad power supply. And then check this out. We got this nice little VTRU case that has a swinging panel. I'm a big fan that goes big burr. Fan. Everybody always calls it a different name, so you never know what name someone's gonna call it. And what's gonna walk through that name. door. It's a different name every day. You never Matt's know. gonna walk through that door and he's gonna talk about the rest of these parts. Welcome to my pawn shop. All right, so what we have right here is the Scepter E225W, which is a 22 inch 1080p 75 hertz monitor. You can pick up Scepter monitors like this well under $100 easily. Um, Jackson and I don't really prefer 22 inch monitors, but when we're doing a really budget setup like this, this is probably your best bet that you could spend a bit more and exceed that $600 budget, get something like a 27 inch 1080p high refresh rate if you wanted to. But I think this is a pretty balanced display and the 75 Hertz will allow for some smoother gameplay compared to 60 Hertz. Now this mechanical keyboard is interesting. It is from Riso Five Store on Amazon. It is an ultra slim TKL keyboard. So it uses low profile red switches. I don't really know what the brand is. Let me see, I can't read. TNX, TN, TNX, G, I don't know. <laughs> He's throwing out letters. G GTMX. Oh, it's GX T and E T and 5W. I don't know what GTMX is, but um, that is the uh, switch we're using. And it's a red linear switch. So you got the nice smooth actuation. And uh, yeah, it was kind of cool seeing a low profile mechanical keyboard. While well, be it, it does have the like gradient RGB. You can't really change it from this. So that kind of sucks, but it was only 30 bucks. So that's a pretty good bargain. Now this mouse over here is a lightweight <laughs> mouse from Red Dragon, which is a different rendition on the lightweight mice. They don't normally do this thumb grip edition on lightweight mice. I don't know why, but you know, what red dragon's doing it here and this was a pretty budget mouse no leds or anything it's all about being lightweight so if you don't want to spend a fortune on your mouse to get a lightweight mouse i believe this one was like 20 bucks i mean you got that going for you especially working with red dragon now this is an extended mouse mat that has like a geometric red and black theme looks pretty cool we haven't really done that color scheme here on the channel so we decided to try something a little bit different of course you can get whatever extended mouse pad you want and definitely check the links down below to see some of our recommendations now for the gaming headset this headset gets the name of the year this is the 
Gootoop gaming headset. Um, it's RGB. The main reason I went for it, especially with these cheaper headsets, I like to find ones that are actually gonna be somewhat comfortable. This looks pretty comfy, nice and squishy, you know. We've got the uh, mic here, which is bendable, so you can put it in front of your mouth and go ah to your friends while you're playing Valorant. We'll go and put it on and just give uh, first impressions. <laughs> do I feel like a gamer? Do I look like a gamer? You look like a gamer. It doesn't seal as much as you might think it would, but you know, it's pretty nice for a budget headset. And again, you could go some other options, but we want to give this one a shot and we'll see how it sounds when we get into some gaming, but Yinsan, it says Yinsan here and then it says Gootoop on Amazon. So I don't know which one it is. Yeah, that's the gaming setup. What we're gonna go ahead and do is play a couple of games that we actually tested on this PC on the video that we did for this PC and then throw another game in there and just see how this whole setup performs. All right, guys, we're playing some Apex Legends and we're still on medium settings. And the reason I say still is we actually benchmarked this before. We played Apex and a few other games on just the computer when we built it. So, you know, why not do a full setup with it, right? It's full setup. Build. Yeah, this mouse though is just weird. Like I'm I'm kind of used to like the thumb rest like kind of makes sense, but then like how it, it almost has like a finger rest on the other side. You almost wonder, is there a reason nobody else has done it? Is there a reason? Fully taking advantage of that 75 Hertz though, you know, going way above it, nice oh, and clean. Yeah, baby. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. oh, oh not yeah. down. <laughs> you will not get <laughs> he knocked. almost killed all of us. the damage. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Give it! No! Give it! No! <laughs> no, give it, no! <laughs> There's just one left. It's just the, uh, the Gibby. I want the Gibby to get you. Oh! Oh, my. I pressed and not. I guess he pressed first, dude. Oh, man. This is, this is pretty tough for a ring. Oh! Wow, uh, that was that was an apex run right what there. What is Tonto? I don't know what that means. I think it's Spanish, isn't it? Rapido. Rapido, right? That was, that was apex. All right, gamers, we are now in good old Fortnite. And uh, yeah, we're on performance mode, epic view distance, medium textures. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop in real quick. And uh, yeah, see what we can do. I mean, this game would definitely take advantage of a high refresh rate monitor if you wanted to spend a little bit more money on something. You can get something for like 30, 40, maybe 50 bucks more. Um, but once again, we're trying to fit within a $600 budget and uh, I think we've done a pretty good job with this display. You wanna know a fun fact? Fun fact? Fortnite has a daily income of $2.7 million. You guys are feeding the Fortnite machine. <laughs> you do it, buddy. Your skin costed money. Hey, listen, all right. <laughs> Yeah, 200 FPS and tilted. Performance mode's gotten a lot better. We've been testing systems recently that have been uh, getting much better performance numbers than it has been. I don't know if they've optimized it more or what, but this is crazy numbers for a $450 PC, to be honest. What happened? I'm scared. Who killed them? Ah, Darth Vader did! No! Oh, Darth Vader almost got me, man. Oh, make up fun. I don't know what their plan was there, but okay. okay. Really trying to go crazy with the box. Okay. Oh, somebody else killed him. Oh, what the heck, a boulder? Where did that come from? Okay, let's heal. No! I got comfortable when I healed, then someone just dropped in on me. That was very disappointing, but hey, Fortnite! Runs great. Let's move on. <laughs> we're playing some, <laughs> some CSGO and we're pretty much maxed out. This is just one of those games where it'll auto uh, set the settings for you based on what it thinks you should, my God, I'm getting killed by Pepe based on uh, what it thinks you should run the game at. The reason I want to CSGO instead of something like Valorant is Valorant is really weird with Windows 11 and some older hardware, so I just didn't want to risk downloading it for it to just be like, oh, TPM's not working, so here we go. I feel like I got in like the sweaty lobby. These are the OG players, apparently. There you go. Oh, oh. he knifed you. I want the op and the op only. How do I buy? Watch, as soon as this guy spawns in, he done. <laughs> that guy running in circles, I hate you. Just go from behind. Oh. oh, no, I legged him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there's, there's, no, there's nowhere safe in this game, man. 20 something. Why is this top leader cute men? <laughs> no! Yes, one more! Oh. 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 Just one. 
Uh-oh. Oh, man. <laughs> that's two, that's two. One more, baby. Yeah! That's three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's three. That's all I needed. Yeah. yeah, CSGO ran great. I mean, 100 to 300 FPS, so. Just don't play free-for-all. That's what I put him into is free-for-all, so. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone, about to drop into uh, a Rebirth match, and uh, yeah, we're getting decent FPS. Um, this is definitely a game we're having to run on, like, low, low settings. Let's see if it actually let me show you without getting it. Yeah, we're going low, low, 90% render scale. Um, 1063 gig is limited in games like Warzone that are requiring more VRAM. So, um, yeah, in uh, super high-end games, you're gonna have to run low settings 1080p with this PC, but it's still technically playable. And for $450, I mean, you're pretty happy with that. You can spend a little bit more money to get something like a 1070, which will run this significantly better because of eight gigs of VRAM. But again, you are spending like probably 30 to 40 more dollars. Oh, I can't go into that window. Which window am I? Oh God, I'm just slowly falling. <laughs> Hello? I don't know what just happened there. The, uh, it looked good, but it didn't really uh, deliver, if you know what I mean. There's a lot going on here, guys. I don't like this game. Please don't kill me right away. Thank you. Ah! Ah! Push me, damn it. Into the smoke I go. Into the thick of it! Oh, he just threw a grenade at me. That... Wow, that was that was disrespectful. Hamburger Helper. How would it feel to get killed by Hamburger Helper? Because that just happened to me. Oh. Okay, that's enough Warzone. I don't know what was going on there, man. That was wild. But this setup, pretty good for the money. Uh, mouse is a little strange, but I mean, for 20 bucks, can't complain too much. Uh, the keyboard, I think, is a big winner here. Low profile key switches, mechanical, red, beautiful. Nice setup overall. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, well, we just got done benchmarking the full setup, and I'm pretty impressed. At $600, we got a mechanical keyboard that looks really good. We got a full desk mat, honestly, a pretty good mouse and headset, and the computer, of course, really carried this whole thing. So yeah, if you want to pick up any of the stuff from today's video, links in the description down below will be affiliate links, and it will help us out. Let us know if you have any other setup ideas, whether it's a certain price range or a certain type of setup, comment down below. And if you haven't already, join our Discord, because we've been reviewing your all setups in videos as well, discord.gg. Toasty Bros. Join the Discord, submit your setup, and you may see it on the YouTube channel. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our Twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now this full setup will actually be for sale at PC Bros, and we also have just individual computers and some other stuff as well. PC Bros is where we sell gaming setups, gaming PCs, laptops, and so much more. You can come in person or buy online and use code Toasty Bros 2 to save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.